Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Not yet, sir. It's... Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Her name's Nadami Shoko. What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just... upset. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. 
That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times, though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. The left eye socket is vacant. The victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the X-ray mode. <gasps> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Hey, wait! Shut up! Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey, whoever's in there, stay back! Suki. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this... Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? 
two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. An ice pick stabbed Date, are you certain? Will this heal Mizuki? I don't know. Just try it. Mm, understood. No good, huh? Mizuki is still a child. The solution may be simpler than you think. Simple, maybe. But this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. Shoko's photograph has an ice pick stabbed through it. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It keeps going. Something happened over there. became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in Encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time in Somnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. It is too narrow. No, your body is slim enough to get through. You think so? In that case... Guess you're fatter than I thought. I am not! I am just... large-breasted! Doesn't look like it. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Stop it! Yeah! 
Stop it already! An enormous bird cake. Understood. A mic. Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. The panda is in awful shape. Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. Or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. The panda is in. Did the merry-go-round move as well? Is there a connection there? You have three minutes, Dante. The panda is in... What is this? Less than two minutes. Hurry! The control room of the... The control room of the merry-go-round. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. A birdcage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. There are a number of balloons inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are unpredictable. Cause and effect are screwed up here. A bird cage. There. <laughs> this will be easy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> what? But it was so heavy. Happen. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon! What are you getting so worked up about? This'll be easy. Glad to hear it. 
What? But it was so heavy. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. A deflated rubber. I told you, please you call have it a three balloon. Minutes, Dante. What are you getting so worked up about? Understood. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. the key. All right, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Masuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. You have less than two minutes. Hurry! A mic. hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Panda is... floating. Wear it? Like this? How are you doing that? Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. It was kind of fun, though. The panda is... I see it! The view from the top! Well, that was pointless. The panda is... Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there! Iris? Why? Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Keep quiet. Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Don't make me into the bad guy! 
look, huh? Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Aiba, look out! What? <sighs> I was about to become a pancake. This isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. It's Mizuki. A gift? Oh, that might work. Mizuki, now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. It will also improve your health. That's your gift? It's Mizuki. But why? It's motivational. A lot of companies do it. I suppose I will give it a try. Hey! Stop moping around! Stand up and get out here! Guess it didn't work. I don't think it works for those companies either. In one minute, hurry! It's Mizuki. It's Mizuki. Mizuki, step back. No good. Damn. It's Mizuki. Date! 30 seconds! Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So... It's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer!
Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Thank you.